Plants contribute to nearly every aspect of human life, from the food we eat and the homes we live in to the clothes we wear and the energy we use. They hold the key to scientific discoveries that will benefit current and future generations. At the North Carolina State University Plants for Human Health Institute, located at the North Carolina Research Campus, scientists are leading the discovery and delivery of innovative plant-based solutions to advance human health. Research shows that plants are the source of much more than vitamins, minerals, and calories. They are a powerful source of compounds that protect and enhance human health. The Plants for Human Health Institute uses a transdisciplinary approach to bring together NC State faculty. The areas of expertise include horticultural science, food bioprocessing and nutrition sciences, plant biology and genetics. The Institute is immersed in a collaborative environment with access to world-class, cutting-edge scientific equipment. This public-private venture is the vision of David H. Murdoch, chairman of the Dole Food Company, the world's largest seller of fruits and vegetables. He worked with the state of North Carolina to bring together eight universities and private industry on this new campus in Kannapolis, just 30 miles north of Charlotte. NC State is proud to be part of the North Carolina Research Campus. With our partners, we bring together scientists solving some of the grand challenges that we face in agriculture, nutrition, and human health. They're using the latest technology and some of the best facilities in the world to address these grand challenges that we face as society. So we're glad you're visiting our research campus and we're very, very proud to be part of it. The overall goal of the research campus is to enhance the understanding of the links between nutrition and disease. Researchers work to translate scientific discovery into new models of prevention, treatment, and cures. North Carolina State's mission within this greater mission is the food side of the human nutrition equation. North Carolina State University, along with the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, is building a team to fill out the entire spectrum of research in plant biology, all the way from plant breeders to produce fruits and vegetables, through genetics, molecular biology, metabolomics, proteomics, genomics, and systems biology. NC State University, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, UNC Greensboro, and UNC Charlotte, along with Appalachian State, North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, North Carolina Central and Duke University all have research programs at the new campus. Roan Cabarrus Community College offers training to prepare the local workforce for research support positions. The David H. Murdoch Research Institute, known as DHMRI, provides the world-class technology found on this campus. Blueberries are one of the plant food crops under the microscope. NC State researchers are focusing on this tiny fruit's anti-cancer and anti-diabetic properties. They also are studying the blueberry's ability to alleviate the neurodegeneration of Parkinson's disease. Over the course of time, plants have developed ways to cope with environmental stresses or pathogens in their environment by producing a mixture of chemicals, chemical compounds inside themselves that help ward off these environmental insults. Now these same chemicals when they're ingested by a human are able to interact with human therapeutic targets to counteract chronic human diseases. And we've known this for a long time. We've known this through traditional ecological medicine. Um, we've known this through epidemiological research. But it's only now that we've got the kind of instrumentation, the sophisticated instrumentation where we can start to pinpoint what these chemicals are and how we can best utilize them for human health. The sequencing of the blueberry genome is expected to yield new discoveries in both medical and agricultural research. Led by faculty in the Plants for Human Health Institute, the sequencing effort is a major step toward understanding the genetic information of the blueberry. It will help identify which genes are responsible for making the health protective natural components in the fruit. The sequencing project is one of the initial collaborative efforts at the campus. Bioinformatics experts are integral team members. Their access to computing power to analyze the huge amount of genomic data is key. 
Discoveries are leading to breakthroughs for researchers studying anthocyanins, the pigments responsible for red, blue, and purple fruit, and how they reduce the risk of heart disease and improve brain function. This research is expected to lead to improved blueberry cultivars for North Carolina farmers and a healthier berry for consumers. Broccoli is another plant with superfood status. Here at the Institute, researchers seek to breed a better broccoli that packs an even bigger punch when it comes to cancer-fighting properties. Probably more studies have been done about the anti-carcinogenic nature of broccoli than, than almost any other fruit or vegetable. We've identified material that has higher levels of some of these compounds that have anti-carcinogenic properties, and we are trying to pyramid some of these compounds into a single genetic background to produce a superior or super broccoli, if you will, that will have a, a dramatic impact on, on human health and will provide a added on value to the growers here in the state. Strawberry research underway focuses on developing a strawberry variety for North Carolina growing conditions. Primary challenges that we have that directs our research program revolve around disease resistance, productivity, and harvest efficiency. And so we can look at some genetic solutions to attack or, or provide answers for each of those issues. Along with the desired characteristics of pest and disease resistance and high yields, research may lead to a berry with a longer growing season. Consumers' palates and farmers' pocketbooks stand to benefit. Research on botanicals and other natural products seeks to determine their role in preventing disease, maintaining wellness, and treating pain. My lab is interested in pathophysiology of metabolic syndrome, in other words, we're interested in a group of metabolic risk factors like excess weight, uh, insulin resistance, or for example, uh, increased blood pressure and their effects on cardiovascular health and diabetes in patients. Researchers seek to understand how genetics influence a person's response to proteins from plants. Greater understanding could lead to better and more effective therapies for obesity, diabetes, and other diseases. Researchers study plant metabolism, or metabolomics. Paired with the study of plant genetics and a plant's genome, it will help researchers understand how bioactive compounds are produced in plants. And our long-term goal is to manipulate metabolic pathways in crops, vegetables, and fruits to enhance their health-promoting properties. NC State studies that are underway are one piece of the research puzzle. Paired with medical research by other universities at the North Carolina Research Campus, they are expected to provide answers to combat disease. Consumers look for quality and value. Post-harvest research ensures that consumers get the freshest fruits and vegetables with the best health protective properties. Research at the Plants for Human Health Institute has led to improved harvest techniques for blackberries and raspberries. We want to be able to hold these fruit going from less than a week, in most cases, to as long as four weeks so that we can get a bigger market share. We hope that we'd be able to establish a nuclear industry starting from North Carolina and spreading up the East Coast so that we can supply all of the East Coast with berries at least three to six months of the year. Ongoing research evaluates post-harvest handling and environmental controls to retain bioactive phytonutrients. This will help ensure the maximum health-enhancing content from harvest to consumption, even after storage and processing. Performance in the lab must be matched by performance in the field for farmers to adopt new crops or cultural practices. The Cooperative Extension Outreach Program of the Plants for Human Health Institute translates scientific discovery into real-world applications to benefit farmers, citizens, and the economy. Graduate students, postdocs, and interns participate in rigorous training that is central to sharpening their scientific curiosity and creativity. Training future scientists and working with other leading researchers here and around the world helps fulfill our mission. The North Carolina Plants for Human Health Institute, leading discovery and delivery of innovative plant-based solutions to advance human health. <laughs>